Gladiator. Okay, today we just have a short workout. It's gonna get that heart rate going. Uh, we're gonna start off with a five minute, maybe four to five minute warm up, and then we will go straight into the workout, okay? But before we do that, I'm gonna introduce the people that I have with me today, okay? So real quick, we have Lori. Okay, this is Lori. She's one of my clients, one of my campers. Okay, she will be your modifier today. So if you've had any injuries, like knee injuries, back injuries, she will be the person that you will be following, okay? Then we have Ovi, okay? Ovi is, he's gonna be doing more advanced movements. So if you're advanced and you've been working out for a while, you haven't taken any breaks, this is your guy, okay? This is Ovi, okay? And then we have Pat in the back. She's just doing your regular basic movements, okay? So if you're kind of feeling like, okay, maybe I, I am a little bit in shape, that's who you will be following. That's Pat in the green shirt, okay? And again, my name is Marissa Castro, Cap Gladiator, Oak Cliff Trainer. And we are about to get started with the warm up. All right, guys, let's go inchworm. You're gonna touch those toes. You're gonna walk it out into a plank or a lower back stretch, just like Ovi, okay? Warming up that lower back, okay? If not, you can go straight into a plank, just like Pat, okay? Pat, Pat is going into an inchworm into a plank. You have two options, plank or a lower back stretch. You've got about three more of these guys, and then we're gonna add to that inch warm, okay? You've got three more, and then we will be adding to that inch warm. Right, right. In less than five seconds, guys, we'll be adding a shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Shoulder tap and then walk it right back in. Good job. Good, good. You are doing phenomenal, guys. Doing phenomenal. Okay, in less than five seconds, we are going to add again. Okay, we are adding a push up, but I need you to do that in a modified version only. We're just in the warm up. We are warming up upper body, shoulders, back, chest, core. Okay, so three, two, one, add that modified push-up, okay? Now, if you just wanna go ahead and add a regular push-up to that, okay, because you're just that advanced, please feel free to do so, okay? But again, we're just in the warm-up, okay? We're just in the warm-up. Yeah, so we have an inch worm, movement one, shoulder tap, movement two, and then that push-up, movement three. One more time to this, guys. We are adding, okay? We are adding a runner's lunge, a runner's lunge. So now you've got an inch worm. You've got a shoulder tap. You've got a push-up. You've got a runner's lunge. So if you notice, Obi's foot is right by his shoulder. You want that foot right by the shoulder. And if you're like Marissa, but my foot does not go there, I need you to pick it up and I need you to place it there. Okay, we're gonna start to warm up those hips, those glutes, and those hamstrings, those uh, quads. Okay, three, two, and one. Let's go. We got ankle cradles. Grab that ankle, bring it on up. Okay, that ankle, I need it to come up either hip bone level or waist level. Okay, bring that ankle up, warming up those hips. Okay. Okay, now you're going to add 10 regular squats to that. 10 squats. Three, two, and one. Let's go. So now you have 10 squats, 10 ankle cradles, 10 ankle cradles, and 10 squats. right back to that ankle cradle. Alright 
guys, we are adding one more time a single leg RDL, single leg RDL. Okay, so now you have ankle cradle, you have a squat, and you have a single leg RDL warming up that hand. to demo okay what we've got going on we only got four movements okay we've got jumping jacks which you did in the warm-up okay what you did in the warm-up except for now that jumping jack becomes 20 jumping jacks instead of 10 okay so you've got your jumping jack is one okay exercise two you've got your squats okay now the adma advanced movement for that squat is a jump squat and in just a second we're going to demo every single movement that we've got going on so once again, we've got a jumping jack, we've got a squat or a jump squat, you've got a push-up or a modified push-up, and then you also have a sit-up or a crunch, okay? So for that modifier for your jump squat, okay? If you've had any injuries in the past with your lower back or your knees, okay? Or maybe even an ankle injury, you don't want to do a plyo movement, okay? So instead of doing a jump squat, which is here, okay, landing softly, you will take it into a regular squat, okay, a regular squat. So real quick, we're going to go ahead and demo the jumping jack. I'm not going to assume that you know what a jumping jack is, even though we did it in the warm-up. We're going to go through it one more time, okay? So real quick, we've got your regular jumping jack and pat in the back. We'll give you the modifier for that, okay? So Ovi's got the jumping jack, okay, and then Pat will give you the modifier, okay? Alrighty, thank you guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and go into that push-up. We have a modifier, okay, which is Pat is gonna give you a modified push-up, and then Ovi is gonna give you a regular push-up, and then Lori is gonna give you a hand release push-up. So you have three options on how you're gonna do that push-up. So Ovi is giving you a regular push-up, Pat is giving you a modified push-up, and Lori, if you notice Lori's hands come up off the ground okay so that is your push-up okay so real quick you've got 20 jumping jacks 
That 20 jumping jacks in every round does not change the rep count. It stays at 20. Every movement after that starts off at 10, then 8, then 6, then 4, and, that, and then 2. But your jumping jack will always remain at 20. Okay, so real quick, let's go over those movements again. You have that jumping jack, okay? Then you have a jump squat, okay? Landing softly. Or you have your modifier, which is a squat to a calf raise. Or you have just a regular squat, okay? Which is what Lori is doing, a regular squat. Remember, guys, if you've had a knee injury, back issues, you're going to stay away from that advanced movement, okay? You're going to stay away from that advanced movement. That is movement two. Okay, movement three. Movement three, you have your regular push-up, okay? Regular push-up. Okay, regular push-up. It's Obi. Yeah. Yep. Okay, and I think we've already demoed that, but we're going to demo it one more time. And then Lori, hand release. And then Pat is just, just your regular modifier, okay? So once again, we've got your jumping jack. We've got your uh, squ squat jump, okay? And then you've got your push-up, and then the last movement is your sit-up. So again, we're gonna demo that. So Pat has your modifier, which is just a regular crunch, okay? So if you notice, she's not pulling on her neck, she's not pulling on her ears, she just has her hands near, just for com being comfortable, but she's letting her abs do the work. And that OV will come all the way up, okay? All the way up. So you can choose to put your hands here, okay? Just for, or you can bring them all the way up, okay? And get you a little stretch in your shoulders, all right? We're about to get started, guys. Remember, your jumping jack is your cardio movement. That is what's getting your heart rate up, okay? You're gonna keep that at 20. Every movement after that, it starts at 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2. We're about to get started at 3, 2, and 1. Let's go! All right, let's go, let's go. We've got 20 jacks, y'all, 20 jacks. Getting that heart rate up, okay? We've got 20 jacks. Coming up, we've got those 10 jump squats or 10 squats, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go. So we've got Ovi doing an advanced jump squat, okay? Landing softly, okay? Then we've got Pat doing her squat to calf raise, and then we've got Lori just doing a regular squat, okay? Dropping those hips on that squat. Okay, now we're down to that push-up. You still got 10 push-ups, guys. Choose which one you're going to do. You have three options. You have your regular push-up, which we are gonna call the advanced push-up. We have the modifier, which we've got Pat in the back modifying. Then we've got that hand release with Lori, okay? Now we've got that sit-up. 10 reps, guys, 10 reps. As soon as they are done with their 10 reps on those abs, they're going back to that 20, uh, 20 jumping jacks. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Let's go, guys. Doing good. Let's go. Let's go. Jump squat next or a regular squat. Good, good. Good job. Remember, landing softly on that jump squat is key. Landing softly. Being gentle on the knees. Let's go. Let's go. Ovi has that advanced push-up. Pat in the back has that modifier for you. And then Lori has that hand release push-up, guys. As soon as you're done, you're back to that sit-up, working that core. Remember, on that sit-up, you are exhaling on the way up. You are inhaling on the way down. You are now at what rep count? Six reps now. You, are, you went from 10 to 8. You are on round three, that is six reps. Remember, your jumping jack stays the same at 20 reps, guys, 20 reps. Working core, you are working upper body, you are working. 
taking some arms, biceps, back, chest, okay? Let's go, let's go. Again, if you're advanced, you are following OV, okay? OV. Yeah, if you're modifying that, you are following Pat. Okay, if you're kind of middle ground, you are following Lori. Let's go, guys. We should be now in round four. Okay, round four. You only got one more round. After this one, we are almost done. Almost done. watching TV, going into a pigeon pose, okay? Pigeon pose. This will be a little bit hard to do if you have tight hips, but with continued practice on that movement, that'll loosen up your hips, okay? Good, good, good. Five more seconds here, guys, and then we're laying on our back, okay? Five, four, three, two, and we are straight on our back, okay? Your arms are over your head, okay? You're just giving me a stretch, okay? You're not working, you're just stretching, okay? You're just stretching. Good, good, good. You're gonna raise one foot up. Let's raise up the right foot, guys. Let's raise up the right foot and bring it towards you, okay? Okay, now if you can reach your shoelace, grab that shoelace and bring it in. If you can reach your ankle, grab that ankle and bring it in. In five seconds, guys, we're going to switch to the opposite leg. Four, three, two, and switch. There we go. Good, good, good. Hold that leg. Bring it all the way up. We are about to be done, guys. About to be done. Go ahead and roll over back to your stomach into a Superman position. Okay, on that Superman, guys. You're not squeezing anything. You're just really relaxed, okay? Hands are by your ears, okay? You're just in a relaxed position, warming, I mean, not warming up, but cooling down those shoulders. 
shoulders, okay? From this position, you're going to do a reverse inchworm. Remember that inchworm we did in the warm-up? You're going to reverse inchworm in three, two, one. Let's go. Reverse inchworm. You're going to walk it back to your feet. Walk those hands back to your feet. Okay, you're going to come up slowly. You're going to give me ten back uh, uh, shoulder rotations. You're only going to give me ten. Then you're going to give me ten forward. Okay, ten back and ten forward.